if you must blink, do it now. Hey guys, and welcome to a new review. Today we're taking a look at Kubo with Little Hanzo and Monkey from Kubo and the Two Strings. This movie is super underrated when it came out in 2016. It's my favorite stop motion animated film to date due to the hard work the team put in for the animation and how nicely the plot comes together. However, due to its obscurity, I never thought Funko would ever tackle it until they did the Coraline Pops. Coraline is another film the studio did, so when I saw they were doing that, my faith was restored. And behold, they did. They made Kubo, Monkey, and Kubo with the helmet and sword. Sorry, Beetle. Guess you weren't important enough. Let's take a look at Kubo first. Unfortunately, of course, mine came with the guitar completely bent and with Hanzo's leg completely twisted. I'm very disappointed with Funko's quality control. Anyway, Kubo has done very well. They got the details done just right on his hair, clothing, and even the bandaged eye behind the hair. I'm very happy this exists now. Little Hanzo, unfortunately, I can't say too much about. He looks cool and all, but they did his legs so poorly that he just refuses to stand. I had to reduce to put sticky tack underneath his feet just to get him to stand. As for Monkey, I really love what they did with her. The texture they molded into her body gives her that look that she has in the movie, where her fur looks thick and rough. Even it feels that way too. Funko definitely needs to make a flock version of this. She's sitting down with her hands on her knees and has a sword around her back. This is a pretty innocent version of her, but it would have been cool to have her in a fighting pose as well. As for the Kubo with the helmet and sword pop, I will be getting that one later, but it looks excellent as well. Now for the rating. I highly recommend anyone to watch the movie because it's truly fantastic, but the story might not be everyone's cup of tea, which may hold some people back from buying the pops. So for people that like the pops but haven't seen the movie, I say wait for the sale. But if you're a lover of the movie, it's definitely a must buy. Alright guys, that's it for my video today. My 21st birthday is this Saturday, so I'll most likely be posting a birthday haul soon. I have a couple ideas of the pops I do want, but it's depending if I even find them on that day. But anyway, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video.